Hi, I'm Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Daily Devotion number 210. Today's meditation is taken from the Gospel of Luke chapter 6, verse 31. Do to others as you would have them do to you. The old timers called this the golden rule, a good guide to living your life with others. And it's a part of the eighth step in our 12-step road to recovery as we make our way back to living a good life the way God intended. And this is a very important part of that journey. Step six, that's earlier, we ask God to clear out the roots of our character defects. And then in step seven, we humble ourselves, freeing ourselves from pride in our life. And now that we're free, God can begin to change us on the inside, as he promised that he would do. And as he does that, we're now ready for the next step, which is step eight. And step eight, we make a list, it's an action point, of all the persons we have harmed, and we become willing to make amends to them all. God forgave us so many wrongs. He's done so much in our life, giving us so much grace. It's time that we start extending that to others around us. We need to reconcile ourselves with others. We are able to shed the shame and the guilt that is impeding the progress for our recovery. That's why step eight is so very important. The list of those we've harmed should be both comprehensive and it should be complete. We shouldn't rationalize it away, no hedging around it. We gotta be brutally honest. And that means old resentments have to come into the light and pride banished around that and the truth embraced. If we're ever going to know the healing and the freedom that we get from setting aside our habits and our hurts and our hangups in our life. It does no good to bury them in the past, but to face them straight on. And I hope you will find the courage to do that and find the power and the strength of the Holy Spirit to finish your step eight. Our prayer today is this. Lord, guide me as I make my list. I realize it will mean reliving painful memories. But with your help and your presence here with me, I'm ready to do my best. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us continue to pray. Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters who are showing great faith and courage of doing the work of recovery. And as they work on their list, O Lord, I pray that you would put on their heart those that you would have them address, that you would guide their thoughts, and that the enemy would not interfere in any way trying to bring about the denial of that truth, that they might find the healing they need, and their recovery from all the hurts, habits, and hangouts in our life. This is such an important step on that journey. Thank you, Lord, for helping them this very day. I pray this in your holy name. Amen. God loves you so much, and I'm so glad you're part of our daily devotions and are encouraging other people to be a part of it as well. If you just uh, take a moment and leave a comment below, that'd be an encouragement to us by letting us know what God is doing in your life today. It'd also be an encouragement to others. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, <clears throat> encouraging you, as always, to keep the faith and to share it too.